Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. And today we are going to be making a taco salad. But we're going to actually make our own homemade taco bowl. Yes. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes the easy and simple way, subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and tap that bell so you'll always be notified. We're gonna get started right now. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to be using just regular old burrito shells. Now these are medium size and if you want to have a really large bowl, you need to just go ahead and buy the large burrito bowls. We have two oven safe regular bowls here turned upside down. We're going to just take our flour tortilla shells and these are low carb shells guys so they're perfect if you're on the keto diet. We're just going to turn them upside down, one on each bowl. I'm just going to do two. Then we're going to take some regular aluminum foil. Take you a good size square piece and we're just going to wrap it over the taco shell. Just press it down, don't press too hard, but press it down and crimp the foil all around the bowl. Push it in turn the edges up and just crimp it all around the bowl so that you're actually pressing the burrito shell up against the bowl for the shape. Then you turn it over and you want to turn the edges of the foil down just until you can see some of the burrito shell. Make sure as you're crimping it around that none of the corners are actually stuck inside the foil. You want the foil to be on the outside completely, even where the burrito shell is folded. If you do have some stuck in there, it's going to make it difficult when you get ready to take the foil off. So make sure you just pull the pieces out and that they are firmly up against the bowl. And you're using the foil so that you, it can stay against the bowl while it cooks. Okay, I'm gonna do another one so that you guys can see this one more time. You just want a nice square size piece of foil. And again, all we're going to be doing is taking the foil and putting it on top of the burrito shell that has been placed on top of the bowl. You can also do miniature ones too, guys. You just, whatever size bowl you have, you can just adjust the uh, size of the tortilla shell. You can buy small ones for small bowls, medium ones like I'm using now, or you can use the real large ones and have a huge taco bowl salad. So again, I'm pushing the foil down so that you can just barely see the edge of the flour uh, burrito shell or tortilla shell rather along the top edges. Okay, we're going to put these in a 375 degree oven for five minutes. While that's working, we're cooking our seasoned ground beef for our taco salad. Yum! And I've already got it seasoned and it's cooking on the oven. We've got cumin, paprika, little red pepper flakes in here, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. A little water, let that simmer down and there you have it. Okay guys, let's get our burrito bowls out of the oven. Okay, now guys, we're going to actually take the bowls out. Be careful, they are hot. So now we've removed them and I'm going to take the other bowl out. Then we're going to put them back in the oven for about five minutes. The shape has now been formed and we're putting them back so the inside of the bowls can get nice and toasted and crispy. Yes, okay. Now we've got them back out of the oven and it's time to take them out of the actual foil. We've got to put them back in the oven again because now we need the bottoms to crisp up just a little bit more. And you want to be careful because now guys, they are crispy and so there means they've gone from pliable 
too breakable. So be very careful so you don't break your bowls. You just want to take the same piece of foil, flatten it out, and turn the bowl upside down on the foil. This is going to allow us to get the bottom on the outside of the bowl really nice and crispy. You want it to be crunchy as if you're eating a uh, corn chip or something like that. Okay, so now that we have these flattened out, we want to take them and then you're just going to crimp the foil up around the very bottom edge. You don't want the edges to cook anymore. They're crispy enough. We're only putting it back in the oven so that the bottom and the very sides of the bowl can crisp up really, really well. It's going to go back into a 375 degree oven, but this time we go in for eight minutes. After that, guys, it's time to make our salad and eat. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, got that all crimped up and into the oven we go. After that, we'll make our salad. Okay, while that's cooking, we have our salad items already. We have mixed green, spinach, and iceberg lettuce for the crunch. And guys, as I'm taking this off, be very careful. Again, it's hot. The foil will cool quickly though. Be careful because now, like I said, they're, they're gone from pliable to breakable. As you can see, there are a few crumbs right there because they're breakable now. So be careful taking the foil off so that you can maintain the shape and you'll have a whole bowl. Okay, we've got it, guys. Yes, look at that. Okay, time to fill our taco bowls for our taco salad. So I've got mixed greens here. I've got spinach and iceberg lettuce. I like the iceberg lettuce because it gives it a crunch and I like the color combination of the dark and the light. I like to layer my salad in my taco salad so I put my lettuce down first, my greens first. Now I'm sprinkling cheddar and uh, mozzarella cheese shredded together. Now we take some of our seasoned ground turkey and sprinkle that on top. Then we're going to go ahead and go in for our second layer. Again, we're going to put some greens. Now guys, I like to build my salads tall. You may like to have yours not so tall, so you know adjust how much you put in your bowl to what you may like. Okay, get all these nice little greens in here. Then we're going to add uh, some cheese again. Put some cheese on top. Spread that around. And then this time, guys, we're adding tomatoes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, then we're going to add our meat. Now, this time, I'm putting the uh, ground turkey around the sides of it, guys. This is more for a presentation. A little goes on top, but it's more for presentation to have that uh, meat all along the sides of your actual taco shell that we've made. Okay, guys, just want to make sure it doesn't fall all off of there. Then after that, we're going to get it topped uh, again with some sour cream and I've got a few actual jalapeno peppers sliced up over here. Seeds and all. Yes, I love the heat. You can feel free to put some scallions on top, which is just green onions or parsley or anything. I just like to add some color once I put the sour cream on top so that it won't just be this white glob <laughs> so to speak on top okay let's just get a nice spoonful uh, and put that uh, on top this is the sour cream yes okay now I just have four or five slices of jalapeno pepper and we are done yes 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 okay guys look at that yummy all right, all right. Yes, look at that, guys. Already, we are done. Yes. Okay, guys. Doesn't that look good? Look at our salad close up. Yummy. And we've made our own burrito shells. Yes. Or taco shells, rather, in this case. Nice and crispy and crunchy. Guys, if you like these how-to videos, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. I have the link in the description as well as right here. 
Give me a thumbs up. And guys, you know I love to hear what you have to say about these dishes. So leave me some comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, so that you'll always get my videos. And tap that bell so you will get notified. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.